November, a friend of Saul's, if you know what I mean. And I know where you're headed. Now hear me out. When you get to where you're going, gas up at the garage first. I'll find you there and give you the sit rep. Now don't worry, you can't miss it. I'll contact you. MK1 out.
made it. Good. Come into the garage ASAP. I'll have my bots tow your car inside before the gang spot it. You're the Desert Rangers, right? The ones the Patriarch made a deal with. Good to see you. I've been hoping you... What the fuck you doing hanging with him? This fool works for the old man. Kill him, or we're done. Kill me? Wait a minute now. Who are you working for, Rangers? If it ain't the Patriarch, then we got a problem. You side with this fool, and you make an enemy of me. Kill him here and now, or we go our separate ways. And I got answers for you. But not until you scrape this piece of shit off your boots. Understand? Looks like you've got a decision to make, Rangers. Fucking idiots. You don't know who you're messing with. Security! Engage! <laughs>
see you all in hell. Stay. Bargain Rangers. I won't forget. Now for what comes next. If you want to get to Liberty Buchanan, I have to be boss of the Scar Collectors. That means challenging Steel Trap to a duel. The first step is letting him know I'm here. Let's head to their camp. The most logical spot is north around the racetrack. And don't worry. The guards will let you in when they see you with me. I know he was an asshole, but he worked for the Patriarch, and we just killed him. What the hell? Started with nothing. Still got it. I feel refreshed.
strangers over here. Ah, uh, maybe you Mamons can help us out. You see, the godfishers were traveling this way with some fresh kite-making materials. But they ran into some giant bisons, and they kind of got them trapped. We don't give a wet fart about the godfishers. Oh, but they're poor slaves. Their plight has touched our hearts, and we want to, um, liberate them. If you take care of the bison, we'll grab the meat stickers, uh, victims, and our boss, Risky Brisket, will give you something cool for your trouble, huh? She's down at Meat Clown, near the Godfisher Shrine. Nothing. We promise. We're gonna have them over for dinner, and then say adios. Who, me? No, Chingas! No! Oh, I mean, Bison give me hives. He's a real problem. Thanks, Mumbo. Meat back on the menu, Gabo! We'll eat like kings! Be Risky well can paid. peddle those shitty clown burgers to somebody else! Get equal! What's your favorite cut? Leg, no ribs, no cabeza, no... Wait, we're talking about bison, right? Meets me, cabron. I'm starving. When are we getting the grill going? I'm getting hungry. When are we getting the grill going? Man, I'm getting hungry. I'm starving. Getting the grill going. Man, I'm getting hungry. Man, I'm getting hungry. Better guard by a bison than filleted by I'm a godfisher, I guess. Getting the grill going. Oh God! When are we getting the grill going? Ah! When are we getting the grill going? Nice work, cabrones. 
We'll take those slaves down to Meat Clown and fatten them up. Oh, I give them a good meal. Hey, we tell the jokes around here, Pendeos. And if you ain't joking, then you're dead. The payasos don't stand for no funny business, comprende? Now you'll see, Mamones. You'll see what you get when you mess with the payasos. I was worried you might actually take him back to those slavers. What the hell? Are people locked up in that pen? That ain't right. Five.
worry about guns. Cordite? With the Desert Rangers? Oh, now, oh, damn it! This ain't fair! What are you blubbering about now, Dorsey? I swore vengeance upon these Rangers. They killed my brother! But if they're with you... The Rangers and I have an agreement. Until it's concluded, they're under my protection. Afterwards, do what you want. Now open the gate. I, I just hope you get to concluding sooner rather than later. I'll be waiting, Rangers. The Piasos? I would if I was there. Oh shit. Then give it a rating on a scale of one to ten. You think that's worse than the godfishers hanging you on the wind with all your insides hanging up? That ha. Ah, they call me stitches. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. You need some stitching? If you're in one of the gangs, it's free. <laughs> That's what being a slave is all about. But slaves and outsiders gotta pay. Okay. I mean, where would I go? Blades are almost ready, Mador. Not the masters. Too clean smelling. <laughs> Good one. Oh, Master Cordite. Is that you? It's me. Knock, knock. I was boss slave at the company store when you were here. But I lost my eyes, and now I make blades for the masters. You were there the night Steel Trap drugged me and sold me off. I was. I saw it all. That's why I lost my eyes. Steel Trap said I should stop seeing things. Don't worry. I will avenge you. I hope you'll take Steel Trap down a peg. Damn shame to be a slave to a man like that. I'm not supposed to. But Steel Trap says I'm only supposed to sell to the scar collectors. But you're with Cordite, so why not? All right. <laughs> Just keep an eye out while you're looking, okay? You joined up with the gangs? Makes perfect sense for a bunch of vicious snakes to end up here. What do you want? I'll believe that when I see it. Who do you think slavers sell slaves to? La Perla brought me right to the Scar Collectors. All thanks to you. Somebody coming. Who are you? We never do. We're not allowed to. They're back. Whoever they are. What do you want now? We never do. We're not allowed to. How do you keep an idiota in suspense? Ow! I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, come on! Tell me is now! Insane? All you are is oh, dust God, in the wind.
Nazis? Take a walk. Liberty only talks to leaders, not followers. Not going to be easy getting Liberty out of there. They both have wheels. It isn't last year's model and his gang of nobodies. Says the nobody. Howdy, Cordite. You here to kiss my ass and ask me to switch sides? Well, you're gonna have to get that tongue in deep, you hear me? Cause Los Payasos don't side with losers, yeah? And you're the biggest loser in Colorado. You had everything, clown. King of the Scar Collectors. Kickbacks from Padre Patriarch. The respect of the Eastern Plains. And now look at you, crawling to poor old Lecherito, who you never even gave the time of day back when you were riding high. Well, fuck you, big man. Fuck you with Steel Trap's rusty-ass roto dick. You through. Shit, I ain't even getting warmed up, but it can wait. I can drag you coming or going. You got something to say, say it. I'd love to hear a grown man beg. You saying to me you're calling me a loser? If it wasn't for the truce, I'd clown shoot your ass all the way to Kansas. <laughs> if it wasn't for the truce, yeah. On the cagar, chingazos. What a little turd. Oh yeah, no touchy. Surprised you ain't ashamed to show your face around here, after what you done. I fell for the old man's bullshit. I admit that, and you had the right to call me on it. But not by selling me into slavery. You should have called me out. Demanded a trial by demolition. Just like I'm calling you out now. You wanna go? I'm gassed up and ready. Let's get it on. You see, Scar Collectors, this is what happens when you let a coward lead you. Our tradition says we give a man time to prepare his ride before a duel, but that would make it a fair fight, and cowards don't want that. All right, all right, I'll give you your time, asshole. But tradition also says no one hangs with us without a test, no exceptions. So if you and your shiny new friends want in, somebody's gotta play our little game. If you ain't gonna do it correctly, I will do it alone. Accept the test or leave me. Simple. We Scar Collectors are about two things. Taking slaves and rebuilding ourselves better and stronger. If you want to hang with us, you got to either prove you got what it takes to be a slaver, or you're committed enough to mod your bod. Behind me to my left is the punishment cage, where bad slaves go to die, <laughs> eventually. Now to my right, is the Suture Self Insta Surgery Kiosk. To pass the test, one of you've got to either kill the slave in the cage or step into the kiosk and <laughs> see what happens. What's it gonna be? Oh man, this is a nightmare. No way I'd do either of those things. All right then, do it. Collectors, 
Who's the man? I can't hear you. Smart to stay focused. Star that dreams to keep his godfish of freaks away from our garage. <laughs> what about that? Looks like your friend's got some guts, Cordy. Unlike you. Well, welcome to the camp, chumps. Enjoy your new limb. All right, Cordy. You can hang here until you're ready. But if I find out you're fixing anything except your car, the demolition is off and the massacre is on. Deal? Deal. Good. Come back when you're ready. Painters. Let's talk. Outside. It, uh, looks good on you. So much blood in Colorado Springs. Right. Now we get ready to fight Steel Trap in the Murder Dome. Biggest problem will be that Steel Trap won't fight fair. He'll have the Piasos and the Godfishers attack me from the outside, like the cheater he is. So we've either got to turn him to our side, or get rid of him. Lecherito is the sort of clown who'd tell you he was on your side, then screw you in the end for a joke. The only way he'd switch sides for real 
as if he thought Steel Trap disrespected him, or was laughing at him behind his back. I know for a fact that Steel Trap thinks Lecherito is a sniveling little wannabe. The whole camp knows it. What we gotta do is prove it to Lecherito. I wouldn't want him if I could have him. Too crazy. If their gods tell him to follow a jackrabbit through a minefield, they'll up and follow it, even in the middle of a battle. I'd rather find a way to make him leave the camp without a fight. Can't afford the casualties right now. We should go to the slave camp. Slaves always know what's really going on, and they have no loyalty. Lean on them, and they'll tell us everything. You lead, I'll follow. For now. Good to see you again. What can old Whetstone do for you? Oh, <laughs> nothing I'd like better. <laughs> don't make fun of him. And don't make him jealous, or you'll end up disappeared like Cordite and D Sharp. He always says Cordite ran away, but I was working at the... That's why I lost my eyes. The steel trap said I should... She used to run the company store, and the bar where the overseers drink. I sang there too. Funny songs about steel trap sometimes. He didn't like that. He didn't like that the boys all laughed. So one night, oof. Oh, the SCs, she ran away, just like Cordite. But I still had my ears. I heard Steel Trap come into the bar, and I heard him drag her out. Don't know what he did with her, but she didn't just run away. You kidding? They cut him up for jerky. If they knew. Everybody loved Dee. Searched for her for weeks. Swore vengeance on, on whoever took her. Never found her, though. He must have buried her deep. Not any scar collectors. <laughs> Don't want to lose my ears, too. Keep sharp, masters. Yeah? What? I don't. He does. And I'm seeking new employment. Don't know one day to the next if I still have my arms and legs when I wake up in the morning. Their leader, Star the Dreams, decides if he's gonna sacrifice somebody by talking to the clouds. And his followers believe every word that comes out of his mouth. If he told them that everybody else's heads were full of candy, They'd start digging our eyes out, looking for gumdrops. There sure is. Kill Star the Dreams. No, 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 that wouldn't work. I mean, they might leave, but they'd go berserk first and cut all our throats. The best way would be to get his number one wife to tell him it was time to go. A haloed Moon, her name is. Star the Dreams thinks she's an oracle or something. He believes her sky readings like his followers believe him about everything else. Except lately, 
Liberty Buchanan's been whispering in his other ear, telling him about the sacrificial victims waiting for him in Colorado Springs, so he hasn't been listening to Halo Moon as much. Still, if anyone could convince him to ride off into the sunset, it would be her. She's a true believer. Thinks the sun shines at a star that dreams ass. Loves him too, like a wife, like a mother. Cleans up after him, keeps away all the fortune hunters and fake mystics who follow him around. Only one she hasn't stopped is Liberty. STD likes power, and Liberty's got plenty. He's put haloed Moon on the back burner, waiting for Liberty to hand him half of Colorado for kite me. Punk ass pretty boy. True enough. Got all the women in the camp just jumping out of their pants. But he's more than that. He thinks he's destined to lure the godfisher gods down to Earth and bring about, a, I, I don't know, some big thunderstorm apocalypse thingy. Whatever it is, when it happens, he's gonna end up on top. And all the rest of us are gonna be food for the gods. I don't pretend to understand even half of it, but apparently their ancestors lived underground for generations and it was a really bad time. Then one day, some guy found a way to the surface and was totally blown away by clouds and rain and, well, weather in general. Fucking nut jobs. I <laughs> know, right? Anyway, this guy goes back down carrying a bucket of water and tells everyone the gods live in the ocean of the sky and all you have to do is pray to them and get rain anytime you want it. How they go from that to hanging people's torsos from skin kites, I don't know. But supposedly, that's how it all started. Well, wait a minute. You're not actually gonna talk to her, right? I mean, I, I thought we were just bullshitting. She hangs around on a little platform in the Godfisher's garage. Says she's meditating. Complete weirdo. God damn it, you asshole. If the Godfishers leave, they'll take me with them. I don't want that. You said you wanted to quit them, right? So if they go, stay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just don't ruin my life, okay? I don't know, but they have to be really tiny cockfishers. I won once. I will win again. Steel trap cheats. My knees hurt. You're telling me. <laughs> dare you disturb my meditations? I suppose I know him. One wild dog looks much like another. Do they? You're a Cordite? Hmm. 
What do you want? Don't talk about what you don't know. You are not god fishers. You don't know our gods. Why would I want help from unbelievers like you? On the other hand, who better? Fine. How will you save Star That Dreams? Hmm. Interesting. I have been thinking the same. Only an omen will convince Star That Dreams to leave this camp. And I have known for many weeks what that omen should be. I have just not found the courage to follow through. Perhaps your rude interruption is a sign that I must act. Until you were here. Near the wind farm where we fly our kites is an old ice cream truck. Meet me there. But you must promise not to tell Star that dreams of this. He must see my omen as a miracle. And not a suicide. I have taught Star that dreams how to read the signs the sky sends us. When he finds my body, hanging from a kite, flying from the Alaska surprise truck, he will see it as a clear message to go north, which is what I have been begging him to do since we came to this Congress of Snakes. The gods do not deal in half measures. An omen must be great and terrible to be believed. The loss of a nobody would mean little to Star That Dreams. The loss of his truest love, that would move him. That is the only thing that would move him. I love my husband more than living. And to help him achieve his destiny, I would kill myself a thousand times over. He is the chosen of the gods who will lead my people to their promised land and make them lords. Head toward the mechanic's garage, then take the track around past it. You will soon see the path to the wind farm. Follow it past the Bayaso outpost, and you will find the ice cream truck. Stay away from the godfishers at the wind farm. Before my courage fails me. Get away, heathen. These degenerates make me sick. My knees hurt! You're telling me! <laughs>
Oh, hi! <laughs> Bienvenidos to Meat Clown Barbecue! <laughs> I'm Risky Brisket. What'll you have? Hey, clowns gotta eat too, right? <laughs> now, what do you want? We got the clown burger and... Yeah, well, actually, that's it. We're out of everything else. Only one way to find out, mix corazones. What's it gonna be? <laughs> you jokers think I'm a fool, not a clown. <laughs> if you were here yesterday, prove it. How'd you feel after you... <laughs> so you have had a clown burger. <laughs> oh, my memory's slipping. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Guess I better quit drinking so much prairie punch. Uh, fine, you passed the burger challenge. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> now I gotta find some other sucker. <laughs> Lights! Believers cannot enter the shrine of the wind catchers. Leave or die. me a kite. There should be some usable kites near the bone pit where we throw the limbs of the sacrifices before they are sent to the sky. Wild animals prowl there, attracted by the meat, so be careful. Take the unguarded path on the heights. Hurry. Bullets and tanks.
back. It's actually worse than I expected. Subsidence rates are close to one and a half percent over a six month period. I warned the planning committee that the reservoir was going to be a problem. The soil up here is too sandy and erodes too easily. We should have set the pilings for the windmills about 30 feet deeper, but no one wanted to spend that kind of money. So now we have to keep a crew on payroll to keep shoring up the site. If we don't, then in a few years, they're all gonna be lying around like pickup sticks. You have a kite, and enough people to launch it. Good. Now kill me, and strap me to it. <laughs> Are you sure we want to go through with this? Do you think I've been standing out here in the cold wind, waiting for you to talk me out of it? If I had changed my mind, I would have gone back to the camp and... and crawled into Star That Dreams' bed. Do it. Damn you. Do it. <laughs> you are braver than I expected. <laughs> now, my arms and legs. Do it. Brothers and sisters, hear me! There has been a miracle. The gods of the sky knew I was deaf to their signs. So they took my beloved Halo Moon as a sign. Flown from a truck bearing the words Alaska Surprise. The meaning could not be clearer. Our salvation lies in the north. So pack your tents and gather your slaves, my children. We must march. Telling me,
again. Need some stitching? Cough up some cash and I'll patch your wounds. I, uh, was an assistant to a doctor. I watched Duh because they'll kill me if I don't. You sure. Come back to bleed us? I would if I was them. Fisher's just up at the left. Yeah? What? We never do. We're not allowed to. Still waiting for you to deal with liberty. Master Cordite! Good to see you. Oh, <laughs> nothing I keep sharp, Master. Master Cordite! Good to stay sharp, Master! Why would you go to a lap? Hope the Godfishers freeze their kite strings off on their way north. <laughs> I've seen scar collectors with bolt on arms, leg. Hey, it's old news again. What do you want now? It's what I thought. So long. On the Kagar, Chingasos. What a little turn. My face hurts. You're telling me! <laughs> takes a leak. He just leaks. My face hurts. You're telling me. <laughs> Don't miss the godfisher stench. I always knew the godfishers were lunatics. They get marched off without saying a goddamn thing. What? We never do. Yeah? What? We never do. We're not allowed to. Master Cordite! Good to... Oh, <laughs> nothing I'd like. Keep sharp, Masters. Hi again. Need some... Just a sec. Let me heat up my cauterizing stick. Better, right? Ah, again. Need some stitching? Okay. My face hurts! You're telling me! <laughs> Cordite? Uh, you're not still mad at me, are you? I don't even remember you. Oh, well, uh, I asked you a question last time, and you got mad. I won't ask you again, but can I ask your friends? I don't give a damn. Thanks. Uh, so hey, you're kind of hot. How'd you like me to take your picture? Oh, uh, all of you. You're all so... Tough and dangerous, and uh, that's a better answer than I usually get. So, uh, what I, I love Steel Trap, he's the best leader. The huh.
What are you saying? I love him. He, he, oh, oh God, I hate him. I hate him so much. He never stops picking on me, always hitting me, calling me names. It's awful, awful. How did you know that I... No, I can't. I can't. He'd kill me. He'd kill me. I'll take your money, if you've got enough. Or maybe... Okay, there is a videotape I've been trying to find for years and years. Bikini Heat 3. I've got Bikini Heat 1 and Bikini Heat 2, and I've got to know how it all ends. You give me that tape, and I'll tell you what you want. That or cash. And you've got yourself a deal. No, 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 no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Please don't hurt me. So, I've kind of got this thing for Liberty Buchanan. She's so commanding, you know? Every time she comes out of her compound, I just try to sneak some footage of her to uh, watch later. So one time I was following her around, and I shot her talking to Steel Trap. And, well, if the other gangs heard what Steel Trap said about them, boom! You know? Like, big! So I was gonna show it to the Payaso boss, the Chirito, the next time Steel Trap picked on me, but... Anyhow, I hid it in the furthest end of his tech mine so nobody would find it accidentally. If you want it, it's down there. Oh! And here's a camera you can play it on. Just watch it in the playback window. Okay, I told you everything. 